If you enjoy these videos on my channel, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you get notifications every time I add new videos, which I'm doing every single week. Take a look at my newsletter. It goes out every single Monday with a great way to start your week out. Look in the description below to find out how to sign up and leave me comments. I use your comments to help me develop new programs just for you. Hey guys, Diane Bolin here. I am coming to you this week from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. We're on the road again. And this week I'm bringing to you more of my how to maintain your fitness program while you're traveling tips. So stay tuned. This week we're staying in a hotel that does not have a fitness center. Not all of them do, and that's okay because we know how to do body weight exercises, so we have no need for equipment. Let me show you what I've put together this week for myself that you can do while you're traveling as well. You will just need to locate a bar or a railing or a wall and a sturdy chair that doesn't have wheels. So find those things in your hotel. I'm actually working out on a little deck all by myself here got everything I need. So find that location and I'll show you what to do. I'm going to show you six different movements and you're going to aim to do 45 seconds of each movement with 15 seconds of rest transitioning between the movements. So here we go. The first movement is going to be just warming up. If you're a little stiff and sore, I've been sitting all day. So we're gonna do about 45 seconds of marching, starting out low. And then as you get warmed up, we're gonna pick those knees up so that we can warm up those hip flexor muscles. So that's movement number one. Movement number two, we're gonna warm up our shoulders. So we're going to roll those shoulders back and down. And again, as we get warmed up, our total is 45 seconds. But as we get warmed up, we're going to start turning those more into arm circles. So getting bigger as we're rolling those shoulders back. Watch out that you're not going to hit something. And get those into really big arm circles. And then we're going to reverse it about halfway through and come in the other direction. So that is movement number two. Movement number three. We're going to go back to our lower body and either using your railing or your sturdy chair, we're going to come out into a lunge. Now you don't have to drop that back knee all the way to the ground. We're going to lunge as low as you're feeling comfortable today and back, alternating our feet. As you get warmed up and you find that you can either let go of the railing and or get lower, that's great. If not, do what you can and work through that 45 seconds. Movement number four. We're going to go back to our upper body using the railing or if you need you can use the chair and we're going to work on our push-ups wrists and shoulders are in line make sure that you're keeping your back flat as you come down for the push-up we don't want to be doing that that's not a push-up we're aiming for this i don't know if you can see in the video but i'm coming up on my toes as i do this And again, we're aiming for 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. Movement number five. We're going to go back to our lower body to a squat. And this is where you can pull in the chair if you need to. Getting our feet in squat position. Either come down for the squat on your own or use your chair as a touch and go. We're not sitting down and resting in between. If you don't need the chair, move it out of the way as you get warmed up, getting lower in that squat. The last movement I'm going to show you 
we're going back to our upper body, and this is going to be a posture thing. We're going to roll those shoulders back, bring our arms up into an L while we squeeze our shoulder blades back, raise our arms, bring them down, relax that out. Squeeze your shoulder blades back, raise your arms, bring them down, relax it out. Again, 45 seconds. And then 15 seconds of rest. And I'm going to give you a seventh bonus workout tip to either do a plank on the floor or a plank against a wall or your railing. And let's try to hold that for at least 30 seconds. So against the railing, the plank would look like this. And you're just holding. If you can get down to chair level, you're going to stretch out. Remember to keep your chair against something so that it doesn't move. You might start shaking and that's okay. You can relax that up and let go, but hold it as long as you can. If you can't get to the complete 30 seconds, then come up, shake it out, and go back down and try for a little more. Just doing these few simple moves for this few minutes will help you to stay in shape and nice and mobile for the rest of your trip. And it doesn't take any equipment or any special rooms or gym memberships or anything while you're traveling. So take advantage of that and see you next week.